everyone. Welcome to Rain Francis Art. My name is Rain. Today I just wanted to show you a little technique that I really like to use. I've decided I'm going to do a little abstract painting today. I've got a very tiny little um, uh, watercolor pad here. It's called a visual journal. It's 90 pound cold press paper and it's five and a half inches by eight inches. I've got my watercolor paints. I've got a couple of paint brushes. Nothing, nothing special today. You don't need a lot of special stuff today. Just a paintbrush, a canvas, and some paints. And if you want, do what I'm doing. You can frame out your page. We're just doing a little abstract art therapy for today. I'm having a very rough time lately. Uh, there's a lot going on in my life and I'm feeling the pressure a lot. So I decided I wanted to take some time out and um, just be in the moment, do something abstract, no plans, nothing. Just stay in the moment. Now here's a tip. When you put masking tape on, don't use your fingers to push down because you'll burn your fingers. So I'm using a cloth. A lot of the time the uh, the watercolor still bleeds out, especially in the corners. So I try to push down really hard, but if I use a lot of water, it will still bleed out. So that's okay. So I've got my canvas here. And what I'm going to start with is just, let me get my water here in front of me. I'm just going to wet my canvas in various places. And I had some red on my paintbrush before, so it's a little red, but that's okay. Just putting water everywhere. All right. Now I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to clean my brush. I think we'll work with blues and greens today. So I'm just going to grab, I believe this is phthalo blue, a phthalo green. I'm going to load up my brush and I'm going to put phthalo green all over my page here. And then I'm going to pick up my page and let me make some space. Move it around. You see what it does? It's kind of following following the, um, the water that I put down. And I can put more down. Where's my large brush? Here it is. If I put more water down here, that paint will follow it. You see? Put more water and it'll follow the paint. And I can just sort of splash water and see what happens when I turn it. I don't do this often because it take it requires me moving my canvas around and sometimes that's not viewer friendly but we're going to do that today. Now I'm just going to dab a little more since I still have some on my paintbrush. I'm going to dab a little more here. Try to get rid of the puddles. But I'm not covering the entire canvas. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some, let's see, probably this color here, which is likely phthalo blue. I'm sorry I don't have the exact color. It's, um, I lost the description <laughs> of what, where, what all the colors were. But I think blues and greens look really nice together. Maybe it's this one next to it. Whatever, just a nice blue color. And we can do the same thing. We can kind of turn it around and let it kind of do what it wants to do. Follow the water.
Okay. At this point, I am going to dry my canvas. that's relatively dry I'm going to go back in and I'm actually going to go into my Prussian blue color it's a darker blue and I'm just going to go in all over my palette with that Prussian blue color the green and the other blue will still show through but I'm covering the whole thing right now and I'm going right to the edges. Okay, I don't want any puddles. So you see how that is? I'm going to dry that. And that makes a nice little background and I'm just going to keep doing more and more layers of the same colors, that phthalo green. I'm going to put a little bit everywhere. And I'm going to go right away into that Prussian blue and put more of that Prussian blue in. You know, it's fun to just play with colors and you know, I usually have an idea of what I'm going to paint and I have a subject, but sometimes I just don't feel like coming up with a subject. I just want to get in there and put some paint on the canvas and see what happens. You see, that looks kind of nice. I'm going to dry that again with my hair dryer. go in with a paper towel, scrunch it all up, and pull some of the paint off for a little bit of texture. Okay. How's that? There we go. I'm going to take my brush again, and I think I'm going to take some of that phthalo blue. I think it's, it's one of these two. I think it's this one. It's a nice, really vibrant blue. Just putting it everywhere. And I'm going to show you something. If I can find my spray bottle. Here it is. I'm going to spray a little water. Now, as I turn it, it's going to drip down, which is fine. And I'm going to spray a little bit. It's going to add some water and it's going to help it drip. Now I'm going to Put some paper towel under there so I don't make a mess. And you can move it any way you want, in any direction you want. I'll spray some more on the top and I'll turn it upside down here. You know, that way it just helps your, it helps your paint to blend. You know, instead of seeing brush strokes, you're going to see drips. And it blends really, really nicely that way.
Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to add some detail. My canvas is still quite wet. I was going to let it dry, but I decided that I wanted to keep it wet because I wanted to try a few things. I have my tube paints, paints out right now, and I don't mind sticking my brush into the tube, but if that bothers you, just put it on a palette. But I've got my titanium white here. Raven, settle down. <laughs> Raven is a big dog. She makes a lot of noise when she shakes around. <laughs> so I've loaded up my little brush here and I'm just going in and I'm going to put just a few lines of white around the painting. I want to make sure I wipe off my brush before I stick it back into the tube because I don't want to get any of that other color on there. And you see what's happening? Putting it near the water so it kind of bleeds into that blue. I'm making little veins, I guess. Little veins. And they're all going to connect. off all that paint there. I'll keep that handy, that paper towel. I'm going in and I'm just taking some of that white off just in that spot there are you uh, if you're following along with this are you doing the same thing I'm doing or have you chosen to do something different because like I said this is just an abstract you can do whatever you want So for now, I'm going to leave that as is, with the white that is, and I'm going to go into, this is Hooker's Green, it's a darker green color. And do the same thing, just put some on my brush, and I'm going kind of under that white. I guess it gives it a little bit of a shadow. There's a big puddle there. Look at that. It gives a nice effect though. Here, there's another big puddle. I don't know what this painting is all about, <laughs> but it's helping me be right in the moment, and that's what I was looking for. My car broke down. I have no idea what's going on with it, but when it's sitting in park, it revs like vroom, 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 and I'm not even touching the gas pedal. I checked all the fluids, everything's fine. No idea what's going on but I have to wait to see the mechanic because he is so busy. 
so I can't drive and I live pretty rural and I was supposed to go grocery shopping and then the other day one, one of my dogs started to um, wheeze while he was breathing and he, made, he was making gurgling sounds while he was breathing and I got terrified. Uh, he's old and he was coughing. I was afraid it might be his heart and um, I'm just taking off some of that puddly paint around the masking tape so it doesn't try to bleed under the masking tape. It may have already, I don't know. Now I'm just going to do the same thing with the Prussian blue. Just go around and put in some Prussian blue veins here and there. Yeah, so I was uh, terribly worried. And, you know, worst case scenario, I know I could count on my neighbors to, if I had to rush to the vet, I could have counted on them to come and help me. I have wonderful, wonderful neighbors here. Actually, one of my neighbors came by yesterday with some transmission fluid for my car. He thought that could have been it. It was low, but it wasn't empty, and it didn't end up, end up fixing the problem. But... Those are the kind of neighbors that I have. They're very sweet and they'll do anything to help you. You know, they won't make you feel bad because you don't know anything about your car. <laughs> Which I'm, I don't, I don't, I know a lot about my car, but I mean, I wouldn't have thought of checking the transmission fluid because I bring my car in for maintenance, you know, and to me that's what the, uh, that's what the garage does for me. But I checked, and it really was low. Interesting. But it didn't solve the problem. And luckily, my dog is doing a lot better now. I don't know what that was all about. He's not wheezing or gurgling anymore when he breathes. And he stopped coughing. So I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I'm just looking at my paints here and I'm seeing what else I can choose. I've got this really nice turquoise and I'm probably going to pull some of that out too. So yeah, I'm kind of moored at home, stuck at home till Monday when I drive my car. The, the scary part is, is that when I'm driving, it's jerking around. You know, it's not... It's not just when it's in park, it, it starts to jerk the car and that, that kind of scares me and that's why I don't want to really drive it if I don't have to. But I will have to drive it next week to get to the mechanic. I'm just putting, I'm just playing. I'm putting some of that turquoise over the white because I found the white maybe a little too, uh, too stark. I may go in and put more white in. I'm also waiting on a couple of calls because I've got to have a basement wall redone and a new door put in and that has to get done real soon because I have my basement is going to be spray insulated, spray foam insulated and that's happening on a specific date and the wall has to be done before then, but my carpenter friend caught COVID, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how all this unfolds. I'm just adding some water, pulling out some of those lines. I'm not sure why I'm doing it, just feel like it. So I wonder what will happen if I do this. Let me put this down here so I don't make a mess. Interesting. Let me go back in and put some white into that little puddle. make some nice shapes in there. 
And with the tube paints, I am not um, adding water. I'm just putting in the pigment as is. try some more of that turquoise color. I really like this turquoise. So when the wall gets done, I've got one of my neighbors who's going to help out with some plumbing. So I can get that done before the basement is insulated. I have to get the basement insulated. It hasn't been for two years and my power bill was through the roof. I finally was able to save enough money to get that done, but now there seems to be little setbacks here and there and with the car and oh my gosh, I've been feeling the pressure. Sorry guys, I didn't have that centered going to go in with a little more white in some areas. I don't know, do you like ab abstract art? I like it. I like creating it. There's no rules. It's very subjective. <laughs> I'm going to leave that as is and just let that dry on its own. Well, my painting is pretty dry right now, so I'm going to take off the masking tape and let's see what it looks like. My page is pretty warped because <laughs> there was so much water on it. And this watercolor journal only is a 90 pound the higher the pound on the paper, the more water it can take without warping, as far as I have learned. And I don't think any of it bled under the masking tape, which is nice. So there it is. There's my little abstract watercolor painting for today. A little bit of art therapy. And if you look at it, you could try to figure out, you know, there might be some shapes in it. Like here, I see a little face. And over here, I might either see another face here or the outline of a body jumping up into the air. There's a lot you can see with abstract, maybe a little elephant here. I like to do that after I paint abstract paintings. I hope that you enjoyed this little bit of art therapy, my friends, and I hope you dive into abstract painting a little more often. It's very freeing and it's fun to do and you can play with colors and shapes and just have a lot of fun. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time on Rain Francis Art. Bye!